There are different types of thermometer to take someone's temperature. The two most common ones are the non-contact thermometer and the ear thermometer. With the non-contact thermometer, you have a button on the front and you can push the button, the display will light up and you hold that and don't touch it onto their skin, just hold it away from their skin, usually on the forehead. Hold that on for a few seconds, the display will light up and it will give you a clear indication of the temperature. They're often color coded as well, so if the temperature is too hot, then the display will light up in red. So it's a very clear, easy way of taking someone's temperature. They're very clean, very hygienic, you can wipe them down, and as with any testing, you would always recommend to wear gloves. The ear thermometer is slightly different. On this, you have a cap on the top, which you just twist, and the cap comes off. And on the front, you've got a button, and that will turn the unit on, and also most of these have a memory function on them as well, and the scan button on the end. And this is inserted into the ear, but the important thing with this is you don't ever just put that straight into the ear because the, the actual probe can be a very high level of um, infection risk. So you'd always use a cover. The different models have different types of cover. This one's a very thin plastic cover. So you just pop that on and just twist it round, usually just a half a turn, and the cover is now on. So that's now safe to pop into someone's ear. You push the button on the end, that will activate the temperature, and you can look on the display and see what the temperature is. So when you take a patient's temperature, take the temperature and then write down the results. And often if there's a concern, we would come back and do the testing again, maybe an hour later, just so that we got a good average. So if someone is showing a higher temperature, we know that that is an actual increase in the natural body temperature, rather than that at that particular moment in time, um, they've had hot drinks, they had food or other environmental reasons have caused the temperature to give a false high reading. And finally, with the ear thermometers, you need to remove the cover and you need to discard that with clinical waste. Remembering every time you're using this, you in fact will be wearing gloves.